What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm gonna to share with you my 10 favorite men's style Instagram accounts. So if you're looking for classic men's style inspiration on a day-to-day -day basis, the place to go, as I'm sure you already know, is Instagram. There are so many amazing accounts out there from people all over the world, and it's great to have access to what they're doing from a style perspective, to get inspired by the way they put their outfits together, and also as a way to discover brands that you may not have heard of. Now, I follow many, many style accounts for different reasons, but I find myself drawn most to the ones, obviously, that resonate with my personal style views and values, but are also very honest and authentic. And you know, maybe not the most popular accounts uh, out there from a number of followers standpoint, but people who are, in my opinion, seriously doing style the right way. And here they are. And if I mess up the pronunciation of a name, please correct me. I am not good with some accents. First up is my good friend, Fabio Atanasio. Fabio is from Milan. He is one of the co-founders of the Bespoke Dudes Eyewear Company. He is one of the nicest people I have ever met in this business. I feel like he is sort of uh, the Italian version of me. He always dresses very classically, a lot of suits, a lot of tailoring, perfect fit, great fabrics, and he is just extremely knowledgeable about all aspects of classic men's style. He's got such a great personality. We've met several times in person, and the thing that really sticks out to me is, you know, sometimes you have a picture of who someone is via their online presence, and you know, maybe you meet them and they're not really the person you thought they were, but Fabio is the exact same warm, generous, elegant, and stylish guy you see on Instagram. Next up is Andreas Venus. Again, like Fabio Andreas, who I do not know personally, has a very classic and timeless style. He also happens to be a very handsome dude. Um, you see a lot of suits, a lot of great shirt and tie combinations, but one of the things I really love about Andreas's account is the way he does casual. It's casual, but it's elegant and sophisticated, and if you are wondering how to dress casually as an adult, there's some great inspiration there. Uh, now, one other thing I personally love about Andreas's account is that he is a watch guy, and uh, from the looks of his Instagram feed, he has an amazing collection, including a Patek 5711, Rolex 1675, and AP Royal Oak 15202. Enviable, and some great pieces there. Next is Derek Blizzard. Derek is the founder of the tailoring company Beckett and Rob. On his Instagram, you see a lot of suits and tailoring. And one thing that I think is worth noting is the fit of his pieces. It is perfect. Uh, it's not too slim, it's not too baggy. It is cut with him in mind with the idea of being timeless rather than trendy. I do love how he mixes in some more preppy elements like a club tie and also some contemporary pieces like pairing a denim shirt with a suit or sport coat. His style is timeless, but of the moment while still being classic. Next is Shuhei Nishiguchi, and I know I pronounced that right because in college I did a minor in Japanese language and literature. Shuhei-sama is the fashion director of the Japanese brand Beams, and his style is out of this world. He's very classic, but contemporary. He's refined, but expertly disheveled. It's just this perfect mix of high, low, dressy, casual, modern, and vintage. Nobody does style like the Japanese, and Shuhei I just find to be so inspiring. Next is Steve Norsch, AKA the Snob Report. That's such a great name. Steve is a good friend of mine. He's a tailor at P. Johnson in Soho. And what can I say about Steve's style other than it is unique and classic and somewhat cheeky at times, but just so perfectly him that you really need to check him out to understand what I'm trying to say. Steve is very much a connoisseur. If you follow him, you will definitely discover many brands that you would not have heard of otherwise. A lot of them are smaller and more boutique, but they are people who are just doing extremely high quality work, very focused on craftsmanship, very focused on the best materials, and very focused on creating just the highest quality stuff that you can get. Next up is Paul Fournier. His account is Paul Lux Sartoria. Paul lives in Luxembourg. He had a blog called The Parisian Gentleman. He was an ambassador for Vitali Barbaris, and now he contributes to The Rake. I admire Paul's account for its simplicity, for his focus on classic menswear, and for his knowledge of tradition 
and great menswear brands and tailoring houses. You know, sometimes when we think about classic men's style and those simple color palettes like blues and grays and browns, it can maybe seem a little boring, you know, like everyone's wearing the same uniform. But what I really like about Paul's account is that he shows and really drills down into a lot of the smaller details that make it interesting, like patterns and specific tailoring details. It's really an account focused on quality and all of those little things that go into making menswear so interesting and special. Next is Gabriel Cohen. I'm not sure exactly who he is or what he does, but his email address and his bio would lead me to believe that he is associated with the online retailer Baltzar.com. His photography is great, as is his style. Again, very classic, very classic color palettes, a focus on really high quality menswear, and again, someone who does grown up casual right. Next is someone who just popped up in my Explore feed one day and uh, really caught my eye. His name is Johan Matzels. And his bio says only that he is a thrift shopper. Um, if he is only a thrift shopper, he is a very good thrift shopper. And he has an amazing collection of great outerwear, suits, sport coats, knitwear, and ties. He always uh, posts photos of himself, I assume, in his elevator. He always has a pipe in his mouth. And I'm just a really big fan of how he puts all of his daily outfits together. There's a lot of thought and attention paid to texture and mixing colors in the same family. And he doesn't have a lot of followers, but I personally find his style extremely inspiring. Next up is Andreas Klo, also known as Flannels and Tweed. That's Flannels underscore and underscore Tweed. His bio says that he is a husband, father, lawyer, photographer, and menswear enthusiast, and that he loves Italian clothes and British shoes. So not someone in the menswear industry per se, but someone who is just extremely passionate about men's style and documenting not only his personal style, which is amazing, but also some of the most stylish guys around the world. And you should check out some of the photos he just posted from Pitti if you haven't already. Finally, we have Simon Crompton, whose Instagram name is Permanent Style, the same name as his blog, which you may have read before. Simon is uncompromising in his approach to style and quality, and he wears a lot of, if not exclusively, uh, bespoke pieces. He is very traditional. There's a focus on heritage. You see a lot of fuller cuts. Uh, you see a lot of attention paid to perfect and interesting detail work. And it really gives you a lot of inspiration and a real appreciation for the finer points of menswear. So those are my 10 favorite men's style Instagram accounts. I will put links to all of them in the description below. And I'm always on the lookout for inspiring, authentic, real style. So I would love for you to leave your favorite men's style Instagram accounts below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tailored.